everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between November 23rd and November 30th, 2019. I'm here with Georgia by my side. Hello Georgia. And <clears throat> with all of you and isn't it joyous and I want to talk about the week ahead, I want to talk about the energies in the sky and as you know we are in a very turbulent transformative time we can feel as if we've rose up from one airstrip but we're going down on a totally different airstrip in a different place a new place altogether changes are happening whether we like it or not the um, understandings the the recollections the the falling into place of ideas and paradigms is great and it's going to increase until January, the end of January 2020. And look at how things are changing. I mean, look at how things are changing on a global level with the awakening of the people. Look at uh, the impeachment process in the United States. Here in Israel, finally, we have, uh, 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 we're, we're going to court against our own prime minister on account of uh, um, bribe and, 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 and uh, false, uh, you know, and, um, corruption basically so on the big level things are changing and also on the small level you know I'm going through a very turbulent time I can share with you I'm going through a separation I might need to live this beautiful background behind and find a new home for Georgia and me pretty soon and I'm going through a personal transformation as well <clears throat> which you'll probably hear about in the next few videos or in the next few months um, so yeah, a very turbulent time and in all this time we can lose hope, we can feel as if the ground we were walking on steadily for so many years has been shook and torn up and the new found land is not yet stable and ripe for us to actually thread on. Have no fear friends, have no fear because through this long night um, we are going to stay together and when the morning breaks it's going to be the most spectacular 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 it's going to be the most spectacular <laughs> sunrise you've ever witnessed and that's a promise so let's go down to the weekdays and see how this is all affecting us Saturday the 23rd is a sensitive day. There's a trine to Chiron from the Sun. It's a good time for healing, but Venus is squaring it and Jupiter is squaring Chiron. So yeah, sensitivity is key. Try not to hurt other people or be to hurt yourself. Sunday the 24th, Moon conjunct Mars, opposing Uranus. While that opposition between Mars and Uranus is exact. So... This is a time of abrupt, fast changes that could have an aggressive tone. Our need for separation and individuality is heightened throughout these days. If you are in relationships, if you are thinking about changing jobs but you just don't want to do it yet, be very, very careful because things can go like that, out of control, and you'll find yourself looking for a new job or a new relationship. And if it's not the way you want to go, then it is a time for moderation. Um, yes, Georgia, moderation. At the same time, as Georgia just said, um, there, is a <laughs> there, is, there is a conjunction between Venus and Jupiter. Venus is in charge of satisfaction and love and harmony in this material plane, in our body that enjoys five senses and a, and a, a plane that is materialistic. And on the other hand, our value and self-value and everything that comes in from income and, and, you know, and love and relationships. So when it conjuncts Jupiter, all these Venusian aspects are heightened and broadened and we can feel overly optimistic regarding them. So I would say watch out for overindulgence. Watch out because of the anxiety and the stress not to go into behavioral tendencies you won't be too proud of in the next day or in the long run 
as I said, this is a time for moderation on both aspects. And understand that the need for things to change and the need to break through is part of that need for a newfound sense of freedom, adventure, and satisfaction in your life. They go hand in hand, even though they seem opposite. Um, other than that, Monday the 26th, I'm, I'm sorry, Monday the 25th is a good day for communication, is a good day for work. The night itself is uh, evening time itself, and I talk in Eastern European time. So if you are in the United States, move it up to the morning time. If you are in Sydney, Australia, move it to the next morning. So that would be a, a, a Tuesday morning for you Australians. Um, but I'm talking Eastern European time. So Monday evening, there's a black moon. My viewers ask me to state when there is a black moon, so I'm starting to. Black moon, not a good time to start new endeavors. So Monday evening, Eastern European time, don't start new things. 26, we're having a new moon. And remember, every new moon is an imprinting time, an energetical imprinting time that goes on with you throughout the new lunar cycle. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, be very aware of the energies that you harbor within you because they're going to be carried on for the next three and a half weeks. This new moon brings a lot of good vibes with it. If you remember and if you've seen my video regarding the last new moon in Scorpio opposing Uranus, I've warned about that moon. I've warned about how transformational and, and turbulent this month is going to be. And indeed, it was... And here I am promising that the next one is going to be much better. It's going to bring in optimism and a sense of freedom. And you, we have to watch out not to be overly optimistic and naive throughout this new lunar cycle. This is in the f a new moon that is happening in the fourth degree of Sagittarius. Look, if you have any planets squaring it, opposing it, or conjuncting it, sextiling it in your natal chart and so forth, or trining it. <clears throat> it's a new uh, moon in Sagittarius trining Chiron and opposing Igea. So that means there's a health aspect here that could involve heightening hygiene, whether it is in a physical, mental, or emotional capacity or else suffering. Our health could suffer from things of excess rather than lack of things. So we could overdo things and, and, and our health can suffer if we're not careful, like overeat or overdrink or eat uh, too much of something. Just watch it. Other than that, the fact that it's shrine in Chiron says that this could be a very healing month for a lot of us. So here it is. Good news about the coming lunar cycle. Isn't that great in such a time? This is also the day that Venus is ingressing into Capricorn and when Venus is in Capricorn we all become more adult and responsible and a bit more depressive and hard-assed regarding our relationships and our jobs. It's good because we can take responsibility and actually be consistent and adult about things and if we've not been that way in the last couple of months this is actually a good thing but it could bring things to an end because it brings a reality check every time we meet saturn or capricorn you know it's like things are put to the test and if your relationship or your job or whatever it is you're involved in venusian uh, in a venusian aspect is not working for you is not really holding up what it needs to hold up it's going to crumble but if it is it's going to strengthen and that's a good thing um, Neptune is moving direct on Wednesday the 27th, another part of this reality check, understanding what is an illusion and what isn't, and, and part of that mist um, is probably going to change, I wouldn't say clear, but change, it's as if we're going to see things that we're not sure about from a different light, from a different angle. Um, it is a confusing day, the 27th, so I wouldn't be doing any important decisions 
on the 27th itself. The 28th, Mercury trines Neptune. These are days all through this week that are great for inspiration and talking to the muses and imagination and actually bringing the, the right mind into the left frontal cortex, like utilizing all this um, illogical, more spiritual and, and, and fantastical capacity of our brain to imagine and, and be artistic and spiritual into the cognitive part of our brain. So wonderful time to write a children's story or a fairy tale or paint a beautiful painting or get epiphanies from the beyond. Friday, uh, ah, another black moon on the 28th, on Thursday the 28th. While the moon is conjuncting Jupiter, it is black. So it's not a good day to start things, the Thursday the 28th, especially noontime, but still conjuncts Jupiter, so it's a happy time. It's a happy time. It's a time that we can really enjoy ourselves. Friday and Saturday, from Friday night onwards, are really much heavier. And I would definitely say stay out of your black holes on Friday night and Saturday. Allow optimism to reign and, and make an effort that it will. Um, it's a time that we can understand things that it was hard for us or we didn't want to understand and this could take us down a little bit. Um, but remember, we might be seeing things darker and more sinister and harder than they really are. Don't heighten the drama for nothing and look for solutions outside the box. This is a great time to change the way you react and try new avenues, new ways, new, new methods you've never tried before. Be who you've never been before. This is definitely the time to do it. And that optimic note that we can change and become things that we haven't even dreamed that we will. And I hope we mean it in a good sense. So believe it. You can become even something greater than what you imagine you can. So on that optimistic note, I want to remind you that if you want a private class with me or a private consultation or join one of the groups, you could study with me from wherever you are around the globe or have a consultation with me. And all my details are at the end of this video on the slide. Thank you for sharing these and commenting on them. They expose the videos to more people. And on that, on the name, in, 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 in George's name and mine, live long and prosper. Bye-bye. <laughs>